Okay, good morning. Um, Ari ang aton nga supplementary topic. So, I decided nga i-record liwat ang product marketing mix nga 4 piece and the service marketing mix nga 3 piece just to give you a more detailed uh, idea. Uh, because we need to learn first the marketing mix before kita mag-proceed sa aton nga next nga topic. Okay, so as we have discussed previously, di ba 7 piece ina siya? So I will first discuss ang first P naton, which is the product. Okay? And then I'll give an example. Okay, so take note. Um, since we are in the tourism and hospitality marketing, I opted or I decided nga ang gamito naton nga example is ang hotel or an airline. Depende. Okay? Ha? So there is a number one. Ang product refers to the service a company wishes to sell. So kung sa airline, it could be a flight or kung sa hotel, it could be a hotel room. Okay? Now, because services are intangible, services are intangible or hindi mo yung makaptan, it can help to think of services as being an asset plus the processes around it. Now, uh, anong ginamins ni? For example, when you book a hotel room for a night, you use the hotel room for an evening. Amo ni ang asset. Okay? But you also undergo a series of processes such as checking in, checking out, having your luggage brought up to the room. So these are part of the services sang product. Okay? Now, that uh, that uh, is if you are selling a hotel room. Pero if you are selling an airline ticket, so the product is the airline ticket. So how are you going to sell it? Paano? Okay, so ano nga service? Service is from the moment nag-approach ikaw sa ticketing agent, ginhatag mo ang imo preferred nga flight, gin-search siya, nag-look siya, nag-ubra siya sa PNR or the passenger name record for you, those services are intangible. So after mo mabakal ang product, you were given a ticket, right? You were given a ticket. So, amo na sinaya ang product, ang end product nga imugin bakal. But prior sa pag-abot nga nakaabot dira sa pagbaligya sa imo sang ticket, what are the processes nga ginagyan sa isa ka ticketing agent para nga makakam up or magaan niya ikaw sang ticket? Okay, so... Hindi pagdulaon ang services dira sa product that you are selling. Okay, now, may ara na kita nga product ka. What is number two? Okay, the price. Price refers to the price a customer pays for the service. Okay, pricing for services can be little more complex than for products. Okay nga, ah. for example, an airline charging food for flights would need to consider many factors. Okay? Um, ma ma mahatag bala ako sa fixed price for a seat or depende kung ano ang pag-pricing namon kung mas earlier siya nag-book mas barato okay will we charge more as the flight gets increasingly booked this is actually happening that is why ang mga promotional fares nga makita natin online like ang mga piso fare in the inatanan piso. There are only seats allotment. Okay? Limited set seats lang na. Yeah. Hindi nga when they advertise for 1 peso, tanan nga flights, ibaligya nila for 1 peso. That is impossible. Hindi mag-earn sang revenue ang airline. Okay? So may allotment lang. Once maubos na ang ilang allotment, back to regular pricing naman sila. Okay. How about for peak times, for for peak period or for off peak? Paano ang pricing namon? Since no one is flying during uh, time sang typhoon or no one is flying during sang time nga may klase, ano panubuan namon ang price or what? Nan. And then pagkatapos, will we offer discounts for group bookings? How about naman yung kung bulk bookings kung group bookings naman? Are we going to give a uniform rate for all? 
or are we going to give a rate nga ang booking class, for example, with Philippine Airlines, booking class Oscar Abi, uh, 25, 25 seats, and then pagkatapos booking class uniform, and then booking class tango, for example. So, galain-lain ang iyang price. So, ang ma-decide si Naya is the company, is the airline niya para hindi man sila yung malugi. So, these are just of the few factors that might need to be taken into account when determining the price of flights. Okay? So, interestingly, because services are much more abingos than products, customer are likely to associate a higher price service with superior quality. So, remember this one, ha? Okay, so customers are likely to associate a higher price service with superior quality. Okay, now, when it comes naman to hotel room, damo naman sa mga factors niya i-consider. Kung sea view, ano mas mahal ang rate? Kung mountain view, how about kung double bed? How about kung twin bed? How about kung hindi included ang breakfast? What if may ara kita upod nga airport transfer nga round trip or one way? So these are the different factors that has to be considered para nga sa pricing. Okay, next one. Ang place. So for services, place refers to the ease of access that customers have to a service. This can involve a physical decision such as where to locate a hotel. It also involves determining where, which intermediaries used to help you sell the service. For example, hotels.com, okay? Or for airlines, expedia.com, travelocity.com, flykayak.com. So amo sini ang mga places nga di ini mo pwede i-advertise ang imo nga service or at the same time, di in mo i-locate ang imo nga product para nga ang imo nga customer may easy access. Hindi man niya pwede nga ang imo nga hotel, patindog ikaw sang hotel nga five-star hotel, butang mo da yun sa mountain which has wala sang maayong alagyan. Or butang ikaw for example sang imo nga ticketing agency sa isa ka area which is ang mga ang pumuluyo or ang community does not travel or cannot afford to travel. So you have to consider kung diin ang place nga imo butangan sina para nga para nga hindi ikaw malugi para you have your revenue. Okay? That is why currently ang mga hotel subong although gagamit sila sang ilang sales and marketing director, sales and marketing team to market their products, may ara man sila ginagamit nga mga online platform. For example, sa social media sa website or nagapartner sila with online travel agencies like agoda.com, booking.com, kag nagahatag lang sila sa commission para nga since ang agoda.com or ang expedia.com is already a well-established online travel agency, pag search dira sa imong mga client or sang potential mga client, makita nila so they can decide, oh, okay diri na lang kita even the reviews are shown there even ang um, ang explanation or ang explanation sang iba niya guess or ang reviews nila makita dira so that will help them decide kung kwao nila ang hotel nga na kung kwao nila ang imo nga product or services that you are selling okay now let's continue how about sa promotion okay now part ini sang aton man nga marketing mix which is the promotion so promotion refers to the different ways you communicate describe and advertise your product because they are intangible services can be more difficult than products to promote yes because ang product ya ti makita makaptan however the services hindi makaptan right because these are intangible this is because there is nothing physical that can be assessed by a potential customer. Now, ano ina mga services niya gina like maghambal ka good service gidiri sa amon hotel, but paano ina makita sang guest? Okay, nothing physical, hindi nila ma-assess. No assessment can be made unlike ya ko nagabaligya ikaw ya sang cellphone or sang pagkaon makita makita sang guest, okay? Or ma-feel nila. 
So what are the common ways to promote services? Okay, so number one, using celebrity endorsement to create trust in the product. Ikaw, for example, um, smart communications are spending a lot of money to promote their services. Ano ila services, right? Telecommunication. But they are using endorsers. Okay? K-pop endorser. Sino pa ng mga Koreano nga mga naga-endorse ang smart? Okay? They are paying expensive. Smart communication is paying expensive amount to be endorsed by these celebrities. So ang common nga tao ay ho o gani ginagamit gani ini ni ni Wonbin or sin Odira or sang K-pop. So maybe we can also trust the product because ang mga big celebrities gani ginagamit nila. Right? Okay. Now, offering guarantees to remove risk. Okay, ano ini nga guarantee? So we give guarantee nga in case for example nga ang amon nga service failed nga ma-deliver namon um based sa amon promise nga speed for example sa internet then we will give you a full refund no questions asked okay so that's a guarantee para madula ang risk okay so ang guest sige i try naton anyway kun hindi hindi ma deliver may ara man niya sang refund nga ihatag okay next using testimonials right testimonials naman niya ari ang mga ginamention sa mga celebrity or ako gagamit ako sini this is a very good uh, service na patunayan to give for the last 20 years I've been using blah 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 so these are testimonials nga which can uh, promote and which can help nga madula ang pagduda sa common customers because of the celebrities who are also using the services Okay, so part some promotion, ha? Huh? And then the last, using branding to highlight the quality of a product. Okay. Next one. Ang people. So people, we mean those people who are directly or indirectly involved in the delivery of the service. This means typically employees of the company. So silagit niya ang first-hand employees ng company frontliners uh, bisa hotel mga front desk officers managers supervisor um, food and beverages supervisor so they are the employees of the company however may ara man kita nga mga subcontractors with direct interaction with customers ano naman iniya ang ila nga mga advertisers for example hindi ina sila part of the company that they are being paid by the company to promote their service Okay. Now, people are a very important factor in the seven Ps because services tend to be produced and consumed at the same time. Because of this, the behavior of these people is very important in determining the experience of the customer. Okay. Next. Okay, as an example ha kun ano ini ang services nga pwede ihatag sa mga employees who are directly attached to the hotel for example. Now, hatag ako diri sang example nga nakita sang iban nga mga employees nga may guest nga nag-check in sa ila and then nag-post abi sa Facebook or sa Twitter nga ari kami di sa Hotel Subong, we are preparing for an important meeting the next day. Okay, so then the next day while the guest is out, ang staff nagbutang sang handwritten note sa ilang room wishing them success in their meeting along with flowers or some fruits or some chocolates. Okay, so this tailoring of customer experience will tend to make the customer more satisfied in the short term. Okay, ang customer is satisfied nga aman, they can feel the service, it's a good service. Okay, in return, it also makes them more likely to become a long-term customer because they like the service. Even me, ako, when I check into the hotel, usually, wala ako nagapabaylo-bayo sa hotel. I only patronize one or two brands. That is why sometimes when I get to the hotel, instead of addressing you as sir or ma'am, they address me on my last name or my first name. Hi, Sir JR. Welcome back. So these are personalized service which is manami ini siya when you employ 
nga aman because it will be satisfying sa imo nga client and then can lend can lead to a long-term customer satisfaction. In return, they are more likely to tell their friends and colleagues about their great experience in your hotel. Okay? Now, ano naman niya ang physical evidences? Okay? So, as already defined, services are intangible. Despite this, their delivery often involves tangible elements. Okay? So, services are intangible, but we let the sir we let the clients know sang aton nga services by using in using physical evidences or tangible elements like for example okay company's website business card logos and brochures equipments building okay as an example consider a potential customer who wishes to visit a hotel for the first time the physical evidence anong pwede picture of the hotel past customer review and the host and the hotel's proximity to the center of the town so even though the services are intangible or hindi makaptan sang customer we have to use tangible elements para mapakita natin sa ila ang aton services that we are offering okay and the last one sa seven piece is the process Process refers to the procedures, mechanisms, and flow of activities that occur when the customer and the business interact with each other. Okay, now, when, for example, ang customer nag-book sa hotel room. Okay, nag-book na siya, ha? Pag nag-check-in na siya and then nag-check-out, it's like a normal lang yung nag-check-in, check-out. But back-end sina, damo sa process yung nag nagaka-latabo. Okay, they have to be tightly controlled to ensure consistent customer experience. May ginafollow sila ng standard operating procedure documents or mga practices. Sino ang nagafollow? Sino those employees sa hotel? Nga a. Even sa pagcheck in, may ginafollow na sila on how to check in the guest, on how to check out the guest. Okay, so these are processes. Processes ini ngagi na employ sa isa ka company in order for them ng mapa improve ang ilang na service. Okay. Now please take a look. The service marketing makes sweet spot. Okay. So amo ni ang sweet spot to. Ari sa tunga. So these are the seven P's: physical evidence, product, price, place, promotion, people, and process. So, ano ang ginamin sine? Okay, again ha, look at this one. Ano ginamin? We can think of the sweet spot as being the point when all seven tactics are in balance. So, ang seven yun na should be in balance in order for you na hindi matandog or hindi maghulag ang imo ng sweet spot. If you adjust one factor or tactic, let's say promotion. Then you may have to adjust the others to maintain balance. Okay, it has to be balance. Hindi pwede nga one P is more than the other. Okay. Again, ah, for example, if we decided to change from a budget airline to a luxury airline, of course we have to change the price. But we also need to change all the other tactics too. We'd probably need more people to offer a more personal experience, and we'd need to change process so each customer is given more care and attention. Meaning, ari are interconnected with each other. Kun it change mo ang imo nga product into a more luxury product, dapat ang imo price it change mo man. And then, since luxurious na yung imo nga product, dapat ang imo nga place of distribution. Dito man niya sa imo nga target market. Ang imo nga promotion should be promoted well also. How can you promote your product nga maayo if ang imo nga promotion is law-law? Hindi very good. Okay? And along with it is the people who are going to who are going to promote the product. Ano ang processes nga gamito nimo in order to promote your luxury product or service? And then, ano ang mga physical evidences niya imugamiton? Siyempre, you also have to upgrade sa imo mga brochures, imo mga pamphlets, para nga makuha nimo ang imo nga target 
market. Okay? So, I hope na insindihan this would be our last time na i-discuss nato ng 7 Ps because next week we will be discussing a different topic. Okay? I have another one. Okay, so I have another one here, which is an example sang hotel. Okay, so let's use the example of the luxury hotel to see the services marketing mix in action. Okay, so ang product, the core product of the hotel is its room, which customers stay in for a period of time. Okay, so lang tawon ninyo ha, ang product natin is the hotel room. Of course, there is more to a luxury hotel than just its fancy rooms. My restaurants, my Wi-Fi, my spa, these are all products. Okay? Next. So, price. So, in the case of our luxury hotel, so luxury hotel ang aton product ha? So, ang aton niya price, the price will vary according to room size. So, as you might expect, a large suite room with a cityscape view costs significantly more than a small room with no view. This is because the value perceived by the customer is much greater. Okay, so ma-differentiate naton. Kung deluxe room as compared to superior room, and then deluxe room compared to a premier room, and then sweet room, lain-lain. Galain-lain ang price ng isa ka hotel room sa isa ka luxury hotel based on the view, based on the value that the customer is getting. Okay, so kung presidential suite na iya, may access sila sa lounge, they have the, the occupy sang pinaka-highest floor or the penthouse of the hotel, of course, it will be more expensive as compared sa room na ara sa third floor na wala sang view. Okay? Next one, ang place. For our hotel, place concerns how the service is consumed. Typically, a place will be chosen for a strategic reason, maybe close to a city, business center, or tourist attraction. Obviously, the location of the hotel is one fixed place. However, place could also mean that a mobile application is used to give customer easy access to concierge services wherever they happen to be. Okay, so ang place diriyan natin niya sa bungsang hotel natin, fix ini, no? And then... Um, in a strategical uh, location na pwede niya sa city center or sa business center or lapit sa tourist attraction. So, nag vary man ang price ng hotel based sa place kung diin located ang hotel. Next, promotion. For our luxury hotel promotion, it could include advertising on travel website related to the location of the hotel. It could also mean directly advertising to past customer using social media and press releases. And ang mention natin kagina, they could also use testimonials or mag-hire sila sang celebrity para nga i-promote sila. So that's part of the promotion. So luxury hotel means luxury promotion, means expensive, which is in return. That's why hindi makapanubo sang presyo ang isa ka luxury hotel because of the expenses na ginaubra nila for promoting sang ila nga service. Next, people. The people who interact with guests would include managers, receptionists, concierge staff, cleaners, spa staff, waiters. So these people, dapat may ara man ni sila sang best training. If you are working in a five-star hotel, dapat ang imo ang mga manager and ang imo support staff, ang imo ng mga a front desk officer has to have the best training. Nga, ah, you are promoting a luxury brand. Okay, so amoni ang mga tao who are the frontliners nga unang maatubang sa mga guests. So the management should hire people should hire people who has the best training. Isa ina sa pinaka-factor niya ginalantaw. Nga, ay, kanam, isang ila service, even their managers are smiling. Ang ila mga spa staff, ila waiters. Wala mo pag pangayo. They know what you want. They give it to you. So, these are part sang um, people 
nga nagaform sang 70s naton. Okay? Okay. The key process, so processes kita ha? So the key process for our luxury hotel include the things that will happen when a guest book a room, check in, stay in the hotel, and check out. Each of these will have a unique and formal process associated with them designed to delight the customer. Let's say, for example, ang process ng pagbook sang hotel sang isa ka VIP guest, let's say, sang Marco Polo. Ang Marco Polo is an international brand nga ginarecognize nila ang ilang mga long-time and lawyer customers. So, when they check in, may different check-in counters sila. Amuni ang mga ginatawag natin yung mga VIP guests. So they have a different check-in counter. Even the hotel sa Cebu, may different sa Marco Polo Cebu, may different check-in counter ang mga VIP guests sa Marco Polo Plaza Cebu. They have their own private elevator. May ara sila yung own yung concierge. And the rooms given to them are ara sa top floor located sa 22, 22nd, 23rd, 24th floor. Okay, nga aman. These are unique and formal process para designed to delight the customer, para magbalik-balik ang customer sa ila. Okay? And then the last one is the physical evidence. So, for our luxury hotel, the physical evidence includes the customer service received before and after the stay. How the, hub, how the lobby looks, any music playing, hotel website, online review and photos, among other things. Okay, so... If you are staying in a luxury hotel, manotis mo gida that they have a very beautiful lobby. Okay? Marble, shiny, sa ilang restaurant, may music, may ara silang mga band nga nag play every night. Ang ilang mga front desk officers are beautiful, guapo, mataas. So these are mga physical evidences nya maga promote sang isa ka luxury hotel. That is why dapat in order for the client nga makita nilang ay oo no kanami gidya sang isa ka luxury hotel kanami sang gin check in na naton dapat hindi gidya malipat ang management that these are all part these form parts for their marketing okay so in a nutshell the services marketing mix provides seven tactics that can be adjusted but should be balanced to help you attract and keep customers to any services business. When using the tool, the aim is to find the right balance between all seven tactics so your service is a success in the marketplace. Okay? So I hope you understood ang aton nga topic sang seven piece of marketing. If you have any question, let me know. Uh, you may send a message sa group chat natin for any clarification. And if there's none, we will proceed with our next topic by next week. Okay? So that would be all, guys. And you have a nice weekend.